Hello everybody, welcome back to Dear Esther. Um, we're gonna go confront whatever this is up here. It looks like a big tentacled creature. That is neon. Oh, there's my trusty flashlight. So that's weird. That's the same type of paint though that we saw in the building. That almost looks like a starfish of some sort. Um, okay, so we again we have more chemical compounds. Anyone knows what that chemical compound is? Put that in the comments, because I, I honestly don't know. Uh, what do we have over here? Um, it looks like... It almost looks like a, lo like a lobster? Which is interesting. And here's the paint can that whoever did this uh, used. <clears throat> and um, Oh wow, there's more of them in here. It's, it's, let's work our way over here and we'll see uh, what exactly is going on. We got that thing. Not gonna lie, looks like a vagina. Paint can. And then we have more, and it, it looks like it's what. It, it, each one of these things looks like it's. Um, that looks like it's a specific pattern. But these ones look like it's just kind of spreading. Like whatever it is, like it gets roots almost. Like. Um, like the like the the roots of the virus maybe or something are are spreading maybe that's what that's supposed to symbolize. Really interesting looking stuff. I'm gonna see if I can go over here earlier. I know, uh, late in the last video, uh, right before I walked into this cave actually, um, right over here there's a um, there's what looks like a boat, I believe, and I don't think I can get in the water. Uh, yeah, but I want to go over there. There's lots of places I want to go. Um, let's let's make our way over here. Um, I know this is the way I came. So let's see if I, like I said, I don't think I can. Ma Maybe I can make my way over there to that lighthouse. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna see exactly what the hell's going on here. Or, I'm also trying to see if I can go up anything over here. Um, any sort of stairs, maybe. If I can work my way up cliffside here. Well, this, is, this is pretty, though. And it's interesting, there's, the, there's a fence here. I don't know if it's to keep people out of this beautiful little stream. But, um, I dreamt I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. Oh my. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall off into my pockets like loose change. If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. With the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I rode to this island in a heart without a bottom. All the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Oh wow, that was really uh, deep there. But it looks like, um, like I said, I came down from up there and I made my way through this valley, and here I am at this place where I. Th it, it almost. Am I in some sort of graveyard? I feel like this is some sort of graveyard or ritualistic circle of some sort. There's. I was like, those almost look like footprints. I don't think they are. Um, that looks like a face. A weird, messed up face. But a face nonetheless. Um, okay, so it looks like I can go up here and make my way up. Or I can go this way. I kind of want to go this way. I want to see what's down here. Maybe a shark. Maybe a sharknado. Very scary. You don't want to mess with Sharknadoes. These things will, these things will tear you up. All right, let's make our way down here. Uh, never mind. Let's not make our way down there. Um, we will die. Um, it will not be a painless death. Rather, it will be a painful death, full of agony and um, murder to your soul. So, let's stay away from the cliff face there. Um, and it looks like I probably should go straight, but we're not going to. We're gonna venture off over here. We're gonna go up as long as I can go up. And we're gonna see what is up here. 
Remember when I said I was going to go up here? I That was a joke. Uh, we're going to go this way. On the designated path. So... I can meet my fate here instead of over there. And it is getting ready to storm. I think I mentioned that in the first video. It looks like one of the, the like the brink of a storm, and now I'm hearing thunder. Not the best situation to be in on an island. Supposedly deserted with an outbreak. Um, nipping at your heels. Not a place you really want to be. Um, and this is a bit claustrophobic too walking through here like you just kind of feel like that was the wind okay it almost sounded like um like a like a wild animal or something ooh achievement donnelly voting for donnelly i have now driven the stretch of the m5 between exeter and bristol over 21 times but although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome break services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. What am I? What am I looking for here? And I'm torn between going, staying up here. I want to go down there, but I want to see where this path winds. But I do want to go down there. I think that's going to yield some, some good stuff. Some good info. Let's see. I want to see where this goes, though. If not, I can always loop around and I can always edit it so you guys don't have to see me. Backtrack all the way through unless weird shit happens, aliens abduct. Killer squirrels, what you know. If any of that shit went down, you guys would be seeing it for sure. Unless maybe this is just a long way down. That could be a thing too. Holy shit. Again, a wrecked ship with it, what looks like wrecked cargo. And I think that I am correct. I think this is gonna go down and loop down, so a couple paths I could have taken there. But let's go over here first. An imagined answer phone message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. What's this guy talking about? I can't tell. Something about Nord, Nord drink. Don't eat or drink, perhaps. Maybe something to do with this virus. Make our way down to this, these ships. Let's we'll see what we got down here. I have to say that I really like the music too. Uh, it, it sets the mood, definitely. It's very kind of a haunting melody uh, with this piano. It's very well done. All right, what you got for me, boats? Cargo holds. God, there is a storm. There's a storm blowing in. So we got over here. I'm going to search these cargo containers first. Um, I don't think I can go in very many of them. Um, but you never know what I may find. If, if anything, but you, like I said, you never know. So let's go over here. Let's see what we got, and I want to know how long this stuff's been here. It's gotta, it's had to have been here for for quite some time. Payload. Co Coeva looked like it said. Um, all right, can I can I walk? Can I go over here? I sure can. Just make my way over. Let's um, let's make our way over here first. And I think I can go to this, not down there, over here I think I can go to this uh, wrecked boat and uh, see if I can find anything. Oh, it looks like I found a drawing. Oh, is this one of those parallel lines? There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. 
How else could new hermits have arrived? Shit, there's new people here? I don't like that. That means potential enemies. It means fucking potential enemies. Alright. So I'm guessing it's this boat over here. Alright, we're gonna go explore this boat. I wish that I, I do wish that there was a run option though. So I can move just a tiny bit faster. But alas there is not. Okay, let's move it over here. Let's get to this boat. Let's see just what the fuck is happening. They said that there's gotta be a hole in the boat. Can I maybe like Oh I can zoom in. Oh that's a neat little feature. Um Hello? Hmm. Wonder how I can get on top of this thing. Let me see if maybe I can hoist myself up. No? Okay. I'm gonna head back here. I'm gonna see if there's an easier way that I can just walk onto this boat. Maybe right here? Hmm. Thought I heard something weird there. I didn't. Just, um, it's just the water pounding against the boat. Oh, can I get in this way? Nope, sure as hell not. Alright, um, let me go back here. Any way down here, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I do need to go on this boat. Maybe that is a thing. Maybe it is this boat. But I don't think I can get over there. That's the that's the problem. I don't think I can because I just it just stops me right there. And I don't think there is any jumping or anything of that sort. Alright, I'm gonna go back. Well, I think I figured it out. When it talked about going into the boat, apparently you're not supposed to go into said boat. You're simply supposed to follow the path up. Little confusing because he does a little voiceover that says, oh yeah, man, go into the bottom of the boat. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Okay. With all that talk and all that jazz, finally figured out where to go. Um, so I'm still confused about these, this boat. I don't know what the fuck's on this boat, why it crashed, but um, apparently his relationship with Esther was really close, and maybe it potentially hit the rocks. We don't know. Uh, but I will pick this up in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Sean from ANPG, also known as Awesome Nerds Play Games. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook.com. Type in Awesome Nerds Play Games. And just remember, I am just one click away for your entertainment.